is a great eye primer when you're using any eye makeup. It helps it stay on all day. What I'm doing now is putting a pearly white or white eyeshadow on the entire base of my eyes. Then I'm getting a white eyeliner pencil and I'm using it in the inside and then on the top of my eyelid, especially close to the tear ducts. This is a special makeup secret that all the Victoria's Secret angels use to make their eyes look even bigger and brighter. Then you can also get a skinny brush and get some white eyeshadow and just seal it so it stays on even longer. Then I use my Cherry Flames waterproof eyeliner and just do a thin strip on top. Now just curl your lashes, you can usually use the standard eyelash curler or the heated eyelash curler. I prefer this one because it's quicker. Now I'm going to start with my Cherry Blooms uh, Brush On False Eyelashes. So around 20 coats of the Transplanting Mascara Gel. And then about 15 to 20 strokes of the fibers. Now, like the last tutorial that I sent you, you can use a business card if you're finding that you're getting it on your eyelids. With practice, you won't need to do this, but some people might. Oh, I'm doing two layers, so I've added another coat of the fibers and you can go top and bottom to make it really, really dramatic. And always seal with your transplanting mascara gel. You can separate them as well and you move them to whatever direction you'd like. And you can also do the bottoms just with a transplanting mascara gel. Well, I'm using my favourite stencil and just a simple brown eyeshadow over a brow powder. And I'm stenciling on my eyebrows because I don't have a lot of eyebrows. So I have to do this. Look at the difference. Then use the white eyeshadow just on the arch and the inside eye. And I use a dabbing technique where I'm pressing the eyeshadow on. You can see the pigments of your eyeshadow much better. Then I'm using a brownie colour just on the crease of my eye and finishing off with just a quick contouring. My brush technique saves me from having lots of different brushes. I just use a rubber band to make it skinnier and using a business card to create that cheekbone effect. Always blend it in. I also put the bronzer underneath my chin and it helps your jawline to look even skinnier so great little way to make it look like you're five kilos lighter. Then I always finish off with a bit of concealer and I dab it up like that and I'm there. Contouring is one of my favorite things and a lot of people have so many tutorials on how to do it and I find that this is the most effective way I can do it in a quick and effective way. I always use one of these amazing sponges to, to blend it in. Always blend. So I'm just doing the one side of my face to show you the difference of contouring and, and the techniques that I use from the favourite makeup tutorials that I have. 